Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WPAlgorithm.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to apply this text outline effect or text stroke effect to basically any elementary text widget. It can be elementary heading widget. It can basically be a button. You can apply it to the text within the button. Basically anything using simple CSS and I'll teach you how in this tutorial. So stay tuned. So the property that we are looking for in this tutorial is called WebKit text stroke, right? So it has a width and it has a color. So uh, that's the thing which is basically giving the outline effect. So that is the property that we need to apply to our text. I'm actually applying it to everything within this section. So I'll just click on the section, go to advanced tab, click on custom CSS. I'll start typing the text and I'll start targeting the elementor heading widget, which is elementor heading title. And now this is the property, which is WebKit text stroke that I want to apply. So I'll just copy this copy and just paste it off. And you can see the stroke is automatically applied and there's also a normal version. So we'll just apply that as well. I'll just copy that. I'll paste it. I think that looks neat. I'll just change the color to black. Okay. Now that we have the stroke, we need to have a fill so that we get that outline effect or the stroke effect that I showed you. So there's a property called WebKit text fill color and it's this one. So you just basically paste that and select a color. So if I pick pink, you can see the fill color of the text is pink and the outline color is black. You can also change the width of the outline color to maybe just two pixel. It depends on your style and preference. You can change it even in the normal version. Now I'll change the text fill color to white. And now you see that we get that neat little outline effect. So we basically have a stroke and we have the fill color matching almost matching the background which gives us that outline or stroke effect and that's how you do it now what if the browser doesn't support this property it's supported on all major browsers on the latest versions but what if there's an older version of the browser and it's not supported so basically there's an article from css tricks and you can basically copy this code snippet in css there is something called at the rate supports which basically applies the code within it only when it is supported by that particular browser. So let's say the viewer or the user is visiting on Internet Explorer. This property will check if that particular WebKit text stroke is supported. And if it's supported, it will apply the code within that. So we're basically going to use this. I'll copy this code snippet. Don't worry, the code will be in the description. You can simply copy and paste it. So I'll just paste it. And instead of H1, I'll just change it to selector space elementor heading title. So within the section, when I say selector, it's basically targeting the section. So within the section, I'm targeting the heading widget, which is basically elementor heading title. And it is applying all these properties. Also, we can apply the normal version of the property. We can simply down there like that, or we can paste it at the bottom after this. That looks better. Now I'll just stretch this side panel so you can get a clear picture of it. So when this particular property, which is WebKit text stroke is supported, any code within this is applied. So we gave a stroke to text. Why not? Why can't we just do that to basically anything else? So I'll try to apply the same thing. I'll inspect and get the class of this add to cart text. I'll just click on inspect element and the text of that is elementor button text. I'll copy the class name. I'm actually putting the whole CSS within this section. You can also do it at the individual level, but I'll always do it at the section level. So you have a better control over the property. First I'll say selector dot and paste the class name. Again, I'll just copy the same properties in here. And you can see that it basically applies the same kinds of properties to the text cart button as well. Let me actually change it to four pixels. 
or three pixels and now you can see that clearly or two pixels you can see that clearly or instead of doing this since we are applying the same code we can add a comma here and we can say selector Elementor button text in here I can simply remove this and that won't make a difference you have the same basic if I change it to two pixels you can see that it's a being applied both to the heading widget and also the button within this and you can extend it beyond these two widgets and here's the magic now since we applied CSS to this section any heading widget or any button text class will have these properties I'll just click on the widget button drag the heading widget into another section now the heading widget doesn't have any of the properties but watch what happens as I drag the heading widget into this section automatically this property is applied because it's basically targeting the heading title class and any heading widget will have the same class so any heading widget dragged into this section will have this outline effect which is neat you can also give this section a class name so you can call it my section copy this go to custom CSS replace selector with dot my section even here dot my section and it's basically the same now you can take this whole code and put it in the theme builder area custom CSS or you can also put it in the customizer area of your theme but doing this is really awesome if you don't have the Elementor Pro version you can get it from the link in the description hopefully this quick tutorial helped you achieve that outline effect that you need and make your design stand out or make your text pop in your designs that's it for now i'll catch you in another one see you